Over the next few videos, I'm going to be talking about each and every one of the individual adjustments and adjustment layers available in Photoshop CS5. In an earlier video, we did go over the concept of adjustments and adjustment layers, kind of showing how they were and how they work. What I wanted to do here was kind of throw out a general reminder that as we go through the adjustment layers, to take a moment as you use each one and remember that you have access to each one of these effects as a layer and all of the things that come along with layers still apply to these adjustments as well. For instance, currently I have this lighthouse image open and this lighthouse image is uh, it comes along with Windows 7 in its sample images folder. If you don't have it though you can use absolutely any image in the world. It's not really going to make any difference for us. I'm going to drop down a brightness, I'm sorry, hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm going to make some adjustments to the hue and we'll kick up the saturation and I'll pull the lightness down a little bit and we get this really wacky sort of effect where the sky is turned orange and blue and everything looks really kind of surreal and a little scary. However, if we take a look down here inside my layer panel, this effect is just another layer. The reason that's important and the reason I want to kind of harp on it is that you can take the opacity of the layer and you can start to bring it down and the effect is that it takes that result that adjustment and it scales it back so it's a nice way that you can turn that down now you also have access to blend modes and things can get really kind of crazy as you play with these but you should be aware of them as well so I can set this to an add layer and based on the result it's adding those pixels back onto the original image we can set it to overlay so just take a moment and play with these for a little while and and just keep in mind that you can tweak things around by adjusting your blend mode and your opacity and getting a variety of different effects now on top of that you also have the power of masks along with your adjustment layers so that if you wanted to you can control where an adjustment layer is and is not affecting a particular image as a for instance, I have the layer mask for this particular layer selected and I have my paintbrush out. Currently I'm painting a color of black. So if I was to uh, make my brush a little bit smaller and it looks like I'm I'm striking my uh, little zoom area on my Wacom tablet. So I got to be a little careful there. But I can very carefully color just inside our lighthouse. Now, I'm going to be a little bit sloppy here cuz I don't want to spend all night coloring, but if I just get around the edges nice and carefully, and of course it's not going to be perfect but understand this is just for demonstration and then I'll make my brush a little bit bigger so I can get the job done a little more quickly and we'll scribble all this in what I've basically done is said I don't want the result of this hue saturation adjustment layer to have anything to do with the lighthouse so if we hold down alt and I click on the layer mask itself you can see that I have kind of scribbled out an area that roughly resembles uh, the lighthouse and if I alt click back again you see the result of that I have said I want to change the hue and saturation of everything but the lighthouse area now you don't have to paint in just black and white of course you can paint in shades of gray so if I do that kind of here on this rock here I'm only adjusting that hue and saturation about 50 percent in that one area and if I hold down alt and I click on that layer mask you can see how that's been defined so keep these kind of things in mind you could also drop on a vector mask if you wanted to and create a vector shape which controls where this particular layer is and is not having an effect on top of that this should go without saying but I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page the great thing about these adjustment layers is they are non-destructive at any point you can just go through and turn them off and you still have your original image to play with. So that's what we're going to be doing. Going over each one of these adjustment layers, I'll also take a look at the adjustments that are not found within layers, some of the ones that just apply directly to an individual image or layer without being uh, non-destructive. They are destructive actually. And then we'll move on from there. So let's go ahead and get started taking a look at these adjustments.